Hello friends, this is Anand and today we are going to fix this problem. Something happened and your pin isn't available. Click to set up your pin again. So if you are getting this error in your PC, then first try this option set up my pin. If it works, then set up a new pin for your PC. But if it doesn't work, then proceed with the following solution. So I will show you two methods to fix this problem. The first one is by using registry editor and the second one is by using a bootable pen drive. So proceed with the first one. Press and hold the shift key from your keyboard and go to power option, click on this power option and click on restart and then again click on restart anyway. And when you see this please wait a screen, now you can release the shift key. Okay, this will open recovery environment. Click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options and then click on command prompt. And here type net space user space administrator space forward slash active colonial and hit enter. The command completed successfully. Now type rage edit and hit enter. This will open registry editor. Here click on H key local machine, then click on file, then click on load hive. This will open system32 folder, but don't proceed with this system32 folder. Instead, go to this PC and here you have to go to that drive where you have installed your windows, which is mostly C drive, but I have installed my windows in drive E. So I am going to E drive, but you have to go to C drive. So open your C drive and any other drive where you have installed your windows and and open this windows folder, scroll down and go to system32 folder. Here it is, open this system32 folder and now scroll down and open config folder. Scroll down and select this software file and click on open. Now here type M software and hit enter. Now double click on H key local machine, double click on M software, double click on Microsoft, then scroll down and uh, go to W section and double click on Windows NT. Double click on Windows NT, double click on current version and now scroll down and go to P section and click on and double click on passwordless. Here it is passwordless, double click on it and then click on device. Now double click on this device passwordless build version and change this value to zero and click OK. Now you are done. But if your PC is, is not showing this passwordless folder, then you have to create it manually. Scroll up and go back to current version, select it and right click on it, go to new and then click on key. You have to type here passwordless, but because passwordless folder is already in my PC, so I am uh, showing it only for example and typing another name. For example, type anything, say P password. This is only for example, you have to type passwordless. Hit enter and again uh, right click on it, this P password folder, click go to new and click on again key option. Now you have to type device here, but because device is also uh, inside the, the password list folder in my computer. So I am again typing here another thing, for example, like D device and hit enter. Now right click on D device means device folder in your case and go to new and this time click on dword 32 bit value and write here device passwordless build version which is already in my PC. So I am typing another thing, for example, here, say ABCD and hit enter and now double click on it to open it. And this value data should be zero, which is already and base should be hexadecimal, which is selected already. So just click OK and now you are done. OK, after completing this, just scroll up and go to M software, select M software, go to file and click on unload hive, click on yes. Now cut this registry editor and also cut this CMD and click on continue. And now you are able to enter your pin, but if your pin does not work, go to sign in option, click on this and then click on Microsoft account password and then type the password of your Microsoft account means the password of your Microsoft email ID. But if this first method does not work for you, then proceed with the second method. For second method, a pen drive is required and a another PC is required. Open any browser on another PC and search Hirens Boot CD and open this website Hirens Boot CD PE. Now go to download section, click on it and scroll down and click on this HBCD PE S64 ISO. The download will be started and the file size is 3.1 GB. So your pen drive size should be more than 3 GB. After downloading this, you have to download another software, type Rufus and hit enter and open this first, first website Rufus create bootable USB drives the easy way. Scroll down and download Rufus from here. Ok, after downloading, now plug in your pen drive which is at least 4 GB in size and go to download folder, double click on Rufus, click yes. You can see your pen drive here. Now click on select option and select Hirens boot CD. Select partition scheme GPT but if your PC is very old then select MBR and, and don't do anything in these options. Only click on start. Ignore this message and click on OK. It will take some time and make a bootable pen drive. 
Click OK on this warning message. So we have created a bootable pen drive of Hiren's boot CD. Now your task is plug in this pen drive in your PC and boot your PC from this pen drive. So if you are on this screen, again press shift key and hold it and click on power option and click on restart and click on restart anyway. When you see this please wait option, now you can release the shift key. This will open the recovery environment again. But if your PC is very old, then you have to try different method to boot from pen drive, which is pressing function keys like F2 or F12 to select the boot option. If you don't know how to boot from pen drive, please search on internet for your particular laptop model. But if your PC is new and you are here, then click on use a device and select your pen drive from here. And then you are in Hiren's boot CD. Here click on a start button, go to all programs, go to security and then go to passwords and then go to windows login unlocker and click on it. Here you can see all user accounts on your PC. Select that account in which problem is coming. Like for example, I am selecting this account. Right click on it and click on reset pin code. After resetting pin code, again right click on that account and now click on reset password. After resetting passwords and pin code, you are done. Just cut it and restart your PC. Go to power option and click on restart. Because your password and pin has been removed, you have to set it again. Just go to settings, go to accounts and then go to pin windows hello option and set a new pin for your PC.